everybody doing today? This is Retro Star. I'm here to do a review of the uh, the Retro Duo Core Edition from RetroBit D2.0 series. Um, I've had a lot of friends to basically had a lot of questions about what this system does and um, where did it come from. So I'm here to get them the lowdown on how it works and how well it works so they can make up in their minds whether they want to purchase the machine. So um, basically uh, from my point of view I think it works pretty well but I'm going to show you, uh, give you an idea and demonstration as to how well it works. So this <clears throat> actual machine works with actually works with your Super NES um, it's basic Super NES um, cartridge and it also works with the NES. You can also hook it up to your HDTV um, and use it as a console. You know, it comes with all of the things inside of the box enabling you to do that. Actually, when I first seen it, I was kind of really curious as to how well this worked and they, they, uh, the store manager displayed it and um, gave me the lowdown on how it works and I was impressed and had to buy one for myself. Um, <clears throat> they went for $99, $99.99, which is basically $100. Um, so let me sort of open the box and show you all the things it comes with and show you exactly how well it works. So give me one second. with the, the manual shows you how to set it up which is just pretty cool comes with the this is the core the, the retro port so that you can play your NES games and I'll show you how that works in a minute but this is what comes in the box along with it it comes with a little stand which is pretty cool if you want to you know, put it on display, it's actually perfect. We got here a uh, charger adapter so that you can, it's actually, <clears throat> it comes with a rechargeable battery. So all you have to do is just whenever your game works out, it, uh, it's supposed to have uh, eight hours of battery life, which I thought was impressive. Um, you don't have to put batteries inside that, which is one of the things that I liked about the system. So I won't have to keep pumping batteries in because batteries are expensive to keep buying if you want to do a lot of uh, gaming, you know, which I don't do a lot of gaming on it because it's basically for travel, you know, you on a long road trip or on the on a plane, it's perfect, and it's got eight hours of battery life, which I thought was impressive as well. So um, it also comes with the little cord a cord that um, you can use to hook it up to your HDTV and uh, play your games in a sort of like a console style, like a console, which I thought was pretty cool too, if I wanted to ever go that way. <clears throat> and also that's a little port to game on it to play all of your Super NES games. So it's got like the, the little port for that. That's actually came comes in the box, which is pretty cool. I haven't really used it yet. It comes with a bag of screws because I think when you have to put on your NES port to uh, play NES games, you have to screw in it in the back. I think I'll show you where you have to screw in. I'll take this out of the plastic here, right there where you see the hole. Yeah, I guess you screw it in to sort of stabilize it so it won't wobble because it does tend to wobble. Okay. And of course, let's get to the part where everybody wants. This is the console, the still system. It's a little dusty, but um, 
I decided to get the black one because, you know, black goes with everything. The red one is cool too, but, you know, of course, black goes with everything. You know, if I ever want to, uh, in my arcade room to coordinate things, you know, I can't go roll with black. <clears throat> what was surprisingly, you know, I was very surprised that at first, uh, they had one that came out they called the Superboy. It's sort of in a, sort of in a form of a Super NES controller. And surprisingly, one of my friends told me that it broke on them. And it doesn't exactly have the nice, heavy feel that this does. It's really, really sturdy, which I really liked about it, which made me feel about feel good about buying, buying this for a hundred dollars. It, it just felt like it just it's, it does what it's supposed to do, and it doesn't feel cheap. So a lot of times that's why I don't purchase a lot of these type of deals because um, they're just never made right. But I was really impressed with this one. Um, this is where the Super NES game goes at the top. Right there, and plus it has right here where you can hook up your earphones and be able to, you know, hear them through the microphone. I mean, not the microphone, but your, ear, your earphones. So I would recommend doing it that way because when you don't use your earphones, sometimes you can barely hear it, but, you know, it, it sounds good, I guess. But, you know, putting on your earphones, you can get a better feel of the, uh, the, the, the nice sound. Um, it's got a select button here. It's got a start button here. And a button in the middle, I think, is for the, uh, the reset. And I think that you could, like, set the screen to, to, the, to the brightest from the uh, dimmest. And it's got the D-pad, which feels really nice. You know, it's sturdy. And the buttons feel really good, too. And the top buttons feel really nice. And this is where you turn up the volume if you need to turn up the sound. This is the volume. Pretty cool. And I guess that's where you where you can hook this into your TV. I actually was really impressed. Really impressed by the system. Um, you know, I I, I thought a hundred dollars worth well uh, well spent. So I'm going to go ahead on and pop in a cartridge and give you guys um, your lowdown as to how well does this work and let you experience for yourself for a minute. So give me one second. I'm going to pop in Darius Twins with the Super NES. You just take the system and basically put it on uh, top there and just push it down so it will come in uh, come out pretty sturdy uh, okay I see where's my button to turn it on there you go I turn up the volume a little the volume is a Loud, you know, as loud as, of course, I like for my music to be blasting. Whenever I'm gaming, I love the music to blast, but I guess it doesn't sound bad for a handheld machine. So, let me let you look at that for a minute. As you can see, nice, bright colors. It's amazing how this works. Works well with the Super NES. This is good. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. So, give me a second and I will change the game. Works pretty well. I mean, I was pretty impressed that uh, how well it works. This is an overall nice machine. And um, you can all you can always have your Super NES, and you know I was impressed because uh, this sort of gives you the feel of 
you know, taking your console on the go, and I was sort of wanting something like that, you know, instead of, instead of just having everything on your handheld, you know, it sort of gave you the old school feel, you know, like you're actually playing off of a console, which I thought was an awesome idea. So I'm going to go ahead on and show you how we're going to, uh, how we're going to play some NES games off this. So give me one second. So pretty much, this is the little port for the uh, NES. You take that, put it on the top. There you go. So as you can see, it looks a little weird, a little, maybe a little bulky, but, you know, uh, Let's try to put a game in here and see how that works. I'm gonna put in one of my favorite games of all time, Metroid. And just basically, you just take that, put it on the top, push it down, make sure it's firmly snug. So you hear, okay. And there you go. Ah, uh, wow. Looks a little bit bulky. I sort of say. Um, I was a little like wild when I first seen this. Like, wow, am I supposed to carry this around? But I guess when you're on the plane and you're sitting down and relaxing, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this baby up and see how what we got. Want you know? Once you do this, you're gonna have to uh, in the back where the screw goes. You're gonna have to screw it in. Because it is tend to be wobbly, and sometimes if you if it's wobbly like that, you'll probably have problems with the connection. So make sure <clears throat> if it doesn't work right away, which I haven't had any problems with that, just make sure you just put a screw in the back so to stabilize the cartridge so that it won't disconnect. So basically, let's see. I didn't put a, bring a screwdriver out, so hopefully I won't need to. So let me see if it'll come up, come on. For me. And it comes right on. Just make sure you don't shake the system constantly. It could probably have a problem, and you're definitely gonna have to put that screw in the back. But as long as you keep it steady, it probably won't get your problems. But yes, this is the game I have in this. It's Metroid, a re released version. As you can see, it works pretty well. I'm gonna let that play for a second show you how well it works. Yeah, I got the volume turned up all the way. Yeah, I do. Okay, why don't we go ahead on it and mash play. One of my favorite games of all time, Metroid. Haven't seen it. Actually, haven't played it in a long time. I'm interested in doing a run on this uh, when I get the chance. I'll just do like a maybe a no death run. I've seen a buddy of mine do a speed run on this, which is pretty impressive. But uh, I'm think I'm gonna do a no death run and just go through the entire game and share everybody what time it is. As you can see, it works well. The buttons feel good. The game plays solid. And it doesn't take away anything at all from your, your fun of the original Nintendo. I was pretty impressed. I mean, for a uh, handheld machine, I was very impressed. Now I got something else that I want to show everyone. So give me one second and I'll just uh, unhook this game. So now you know that works really well with your NES cartridge. If you ever want to have your NES cartridge on the go, on a plane, and on a road trip, hey, this is the way to go. Right here. Doesn't get any better than this. And you put in a physical card cartridge and play just like you did back in the days, but on the go. So I'm going to go ahead on and just uh, unplug this and 
I got something else that I need to show you as well. This actually sold me on buying the system. But give me one second. You just take whenever you want to disconnect it. Take it out. You know, don't try to break it. It's sort of like a little firm push out and it'll come right out. And of course you take the cartridge off the top. What made this system really interesting is because not only can if you can you can play your Super NES, you can also play and your NES, it also comes with an adapter to enable you to play Genesis games on the system. Which it was like wow. I was like, give me that system right there. I mean um, I also, I love my NES and my Super NES, but I also love my Genesis on the go too, so I can pack in five or four of my favorite games on a road trip or on the plane and bring this adapter along with me so I can play some of my favorite Sega Genesis games. You know, this is, of course, is something you have to buy separate. It could all, it's, this also works on your Super NES as well. This does not just work on the Retro Duo, it works also, as you can see on the box. It has uh, a Super NES sort of, you know, concept thing in there. So I thought this was pretty neat. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up for you, and we can get we can get things popping and show you what this thing can do. If you ever wanted to buy one. So basically, it comes with the card, little booklet to show you exactly how to fire it up. You know. Yada yada yada. Comes with a little cord here. And I guess if you want to play on TV, comes with the Almighty Cartridge Adapter. So let's take that out of the box, and this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's a sure difference in size. The one that comes with, this is the one that comes in packed inside of your box. Pretty big. You know, this one uh, is really small compared to that. As you can see, your adapter. Now, let's fire this baby up and see how it works. This goes, of course, goes in the top of your yeah. Just like that, like the Super Nintendo cartridges go. And of course, you don't have to screw anything on the back like you do the NES one. This adapter pretty much fits pretty good in there. Uh, in my face. So you take your favorite titles. See, I got two of my favorite titles here, which is um, Insector X, which I was my all-time favorite. Uh, shoot 'em up, and of course, one of my favorite games, Midnight Resistance. So why don't we try Midnight Resistance? See how that works. Take the cartridge and put it through at the top. Get a little grip on here and push it down really snug. Remember, you gotta push it down snug enough if you want it to work right. And there you go. Yes, again, a little bit bulky, but it, it sure isn't as bulky as the NES one, NES port uh, adapter. So let's go ahead and fire this up. As you can see, okay, the east, it works really well. We got Midnight Resistance, one of my favorite all-time Genesis games. One of the first Genesis games I played, besides Alter Beast, once I beat Alter Beast, I said I need to go and rent me another game, and this was one of the first that I selected to rent. 
So as you can see, the little introduction. Mm. All right, let's get things popping. Go ahead on and let's start. Beautiful, vibrant colors. <laughs> okay. I guess I, that's supposed to stay in the Jeep there. I haven't played this in a while. This is a game I'm also interested in doing a no death run in, in the future. You know, once I get some things, I want to definitely do some work on, maybe even do a no death run on this console. Play this in a long time. Uh, getting all the little nooks and crannies. All right, that's how good it works there. Works pretty well. All right. Let's, why don't we pop in another game too? See. Give me one second. Basically, to take it off, you just make sure you disconnect it. Just be careful not to mess up any pens or anything. And there you go. Okay, why don't we try one more game? Let's try. All my in Sector X. Again. Put this in, like so. And make sure you put it in nice and snug. And make sure the cartridge is put in all the way so that it will connect. And uh, there you go. Put it on. <laughs> I had to do extra, uh, like I said before, you got to make sure it's snug in right. I had to fight it to sort of get it snug in right. And once you get everything hooked up correctly, it'll work like a charm. And this is an old game I have not played in, since I was a kid. I bought it for a uh, small for me. Just never got a chance to do a run in it yet. So let's go ahead on and fire up the button. Or how about we, yeah. This is the it's automatic play here, so to give you an idea exactly what you're looking at when you play your games, this is what you'll be looking at. This is beautiful um, how the screen looks. I definitely say that this was one that impressed me out of any other uh, console that you know isn't by or what you call isn't by Sega or Nintendo or. All the other, you know, handhelds of Sony that we buy, you know, usually I would not purchase anything like this because I've purchased things like this in the past and it never worked well for me, but I was very impressed with this system. So if you're interested in this system, it's $99.99. Uh, it comes in, uh, I don't know if they have different colors out now, but it comes in red and black. It also comes with other accessories like other controllers, which I haven't had, really had a chance to uh, get a hold of those yet. Um, <clears throat> but in the future, I probably will get a couple controllers just to see, just to have and see how it works and use the system to its fullest, fullest everything that you can do and hook it up to my TV and play some off the TV. And you know, uh, I wish I had a TV here to demonstrate that for you, but um, 
I have not unpacked everything yet, just getting back here in Florida since December, so a lot of my goodies are still in the storage. But if you guys are interested in the system, I've had a lot of friends um, ask me about the system and how it works, so this is a video I'm doing for them so that they don't know exactly how it works. And um, so, you know, there you go, the Retro Duo Portable. I believe they also have consoles as well. well. But this is the portable, this is the uh, Retro Duo from Retro Bit portable uh, the handheld system. So um, that'll conclude this uh, this demonstration video and then you guys uh, will like the system, they still comment, uh, subscribe, you know, and uh, let me know your thoughts on the system and if you're interested in getting one. And I highly recommend you get one because this is, this is badass right here. Anybody that wants retro games on the go in the in in the format that everybody wants to carry their cartridges and insert their cartridges like they do their consoles, this is the way to go. So just go ahead and drop in a comment and subscribe and uh, this will conclude this uh, review of Retro Duo. And I hope you guys saw, uh, I hope I uh, gave you a lot of information about the system. All right, and this is Retro Star and I'm out. Peace, subscribe, comment, let me know um, what's the deal and what, let me know if you want to get one of these systems. Uh, so I highly recommend it for anybody who wants a handheld system. Alright, thank you and uh, keep it retro folks.